Oh boy. 90 minutes on the clock. <laughs> okay, so I've got 90 minutes to design, 3D model and 3D print a lighting solution that I've also got to wire and solder up for my desk setup. Currently I have LED sticks and tubes which look really good, but they're useless for lighting because the main light is behind me and it casts crazy shadows all over my desk. So I thought, let's convert my microphone arm into a light in 88 minutes. Okay, so the microphone arm is attached here at the desk next to my audio interface. Now, this section here of the bar is where I wanna put the LED strip. I've scribbled down some sketches. Uh, it's gonna just stem across here. I need to figure out an angle to also put it at so that it kind of will shine from here down to my desk. So now I need to take measurements actually of the <laughs> microphone arm and begin 3D modeling. Okay, we're at 60 minutes on the clock. I've modeled up a good prototype I think it should work. I'm gonna send it to the 3D printer uh, and we'll load that up. Uh, we need to get the black filament out of the dryer. Ooh, that's toasty. Get in here to the 3D printer and warm it up. All right, print server is starting up on the Raspberry Pi. 3D print filament is loaded up. We now have black from the white. In the cupboard, we have my turntable that I built. I'm gonna have to salvage for that part. You're going to serve a higher purpose. All right. 47 minutes left and I just realized I didn't do calculations for if we can even power those LED strips from the power supply that we have. All right, so power supply is going to be like an old router, like a Netgear power supply, which is 12 volts, 2.5 amps. 2.5 times 12 is 24, 30, 30 watts. So we need 30 watts. How much is our LED strips? 8520 SMD. A one meter strip of these is around 20 watts, so we have ample power. Save to disk, get a G code, upload it to the server, click print. Oh, just under 37 minutes left, and we are printing the first part. I need, need to 3D model the next piece. Check on this 3D print, make sure it's actually just printing, and then we need to finish off pulling apart that other piece. Yeah, boy! 3D printer is printing. That is good to see. All right. Screwdriver to pull apart the mount. So this is where my chair plugs into. It plugs in under the desk and wires to a secondary amp for the base shakers. I said to myself, that's gonna be a pain to pull down. Oh, that's actually really easy. Ooh, under the desk, we're gonna have to have a big 3D printed bit coming off. Chair mount down here, wires for that, and that's just wired straight through to a plug. The front here is gonna be a dimmer switch for the LED lights, and then that wires out and up over to our microphone boom arm. Far out. This is just a full YOLO sesh. I have to go get a haircut, so I'm gonna pause the timer. We are at 20. Seven minutes and 27 seconds. The 3D printer is running. When I get back and I continue to working, we'll hit go again. Oh, all right, haircut is done. Nice little buzz. A little sick of like a little air freshener from my barber. Okay, so there's like 30 minutes left to get this done. At the moment, I'm working full time, studying uni online part time, making YouTube videos, and working with brands to make their videos. And to be honest, I'm pretty overwhelmed. There's a lot to do, and I'm using my desk a lot more often than usual. I'm just really looking forward to having shadows in the desk when I write stuff down to have a bit more of a pleasurable experience. Uh, all right, it's now tomorrow, or it's the next day from yesterday. I'm really bad at planning time, and that's why I try to set myself the 90 minute limit. I had to go straight out to dinner, which I kind of forgot that was on. So about 17 minutes left. There's a lot of doubt in my mind. <laughs> you probably can see it by my face. All right, let's do it. I don't know how, but I stuffed up the thickness for the LED strips. Unfortunately, I didn't make the timer. There's a lot more here than I kind of thought just to stick a light on the microphone arm. I'm not giving up, I'm getting it done. I'm gonna switch modes on the timer now to stopwatch, and we're gonna see how much over time this project takes me. I stuffed up and trying to quickly do the hot glue gun. I've put the LED stick on the wrong way around. And this diffuser just looks like absolute garbage. It's all progress, it's part of the, part of the process, I guess. Goodness. You know what's interesting is I started this project because I just wanted the functionality of the light. And I caught myself then making a voice memo on what I could change 
at the end I said look the best. I caught myself out chasing aesthetics when this project was primarily meant to be functional based. Like what's the priority here? Getting a light working in the shortest amount of time or making it showroom room ready? All right, let's test this thing. Ah, nothing. That's great. Positive to positive. Let's turn it. Hey, bright. Here's a diffuser I 3D printed. Save my eyes from going blind on the sides. Oh, I'm actually going blind with this. We need this screwdriver, this staple gun. Hey, Norman, can you come help? Oh, no. Norman just tripped on the LED stick. Oh, I'm hoping you rip the solder out then. Oh, there it goes. There's a hole that runs down through the microphone arm. Hole in a 3D model that I can put the screwdriver through and then go screw it in. The staple gun, the cable to the back of the desk. Moment of truth. It's not turning on. Oh, negative, negative, positive. No, it's mixed polarity. The wire was wrong when I soldered it and I left it. Wait, no, that's right because wrong is right. Oh man, this rush. Oh, dude, the bigger shadow is no longer. That is so good. No longer do I have a shadow of my head when I'm trying to study or write stuff down. I got a little bit bummed out halfway because there was changes I wanted to make, but with the deadline, I just kept pushing through. But the main change will be to recess the diffuser so it doesn't stick out from the arm as much when it's switched off. Although I didn't make the challenge of time, I finished the project and I can now start to enjoy it. And I don't know about you, but I feel like a microphone arm with an LED light like that's a pretty cool thing. Like I haven't Googled it, but if it doesn't exist, it should. Now the Swatch Max is out in 99 minutes. I had to reset it and it went for another 15 or so, giving us about three and a half hours. And I say about because in the excitement and hype of finishing the project, I forgot to hit stop and I couldn't see on the footage when I actually finished. So I knew it was around 15 minutes extra. More often than not, we can wait until tomorrow to get started. And if a fake deadline or a countdown timer gets the job done, then hey, give it a crack because I'm gonna try this thing more often. On the screen, you'll find vids to my 3D printed speaker stands and coding my first smart device. If you want to follow me on Instagram, you'll find smaller projects like this Megabot and daily behind the scenes. If you like this video, thumbs it. If you loved it, sub it, and I'll see you in the next one. That took so many times to say. Bye. Oh, I've been sitting here for ages filling out documents, dealing with the shadows. I forgot that I have my new lamp. Man, this is killer. This is so good. I guess they say estimate your project time and then double it. <laughs> we'll be pretty spot on there, I reckon. <laughs>